Hello YouTube and NewCenterMaine.com. I'm NewCenter Maine meteorologist Jason Nappy with the latest updates on Hurricane Lee as it makes that trek up to the north. There's an extra tropical cyclone. Here are the socials, Facebook, Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. Instagram, you can find me on TikTok. You look hard enough. Let's get right into the hurricane hunters and what they've been doing here on your Friday as of the last recording. It is still a category one hurricane and here is one of the planes going in measuring that wind speed 10 second duration 90 miles an hour. So then you have that here around that eye wall to the north and northeast. That is a bona fide category one hurricane that is heading to the north, streaming those clouds up here. You see in the satellite picture, you have that eye that's opened up and now it's beginning that transition as that colder air begins to work into it. The jet stream starts to pick it up in the next several hours. We have a large wind field with Lee. That means scattered power outages are expected as the storm heads north. There will also be beach erosion. That's guaranteed really for the whole Atlantic seaboard with minor storm surge and also especially on the northern side of the uh, Cape Cod area and then heading up obviously to the North Shore. Watch out for that. And how about flash flooding? Some streams are going to rise from this. We have a lot of saturated soils going on. Rivers and streams are running high in Maine right now. The tropical satellite shows what's going on. There is that eye opening up. Here is the outflow with the storm going up into Maine. You might have seen something like a sun halo. You know, obviously the sun piercing through those ice crystals and those high clouds coming in up in Maine. You can see that if you do go ahead and tag me on social media. I'll try and get those up. How about here's what I know and what I don't know. Now there's a lot more I know than the last time I talked to you, but here let's break it down. Power outages are expected. There are a lot of leaves on trees and we have saturated soil, so a compromised root system. That's why outages are expected. But still, what I don't know, because this storm is very rare coming in here in September with a lot of leaves on trees. We don't normally get that for nor'easter types. So how many outages remains to be seen. The highest wind gust most likely you're going to be out in the islands, but we'll have to wait and see. And how much erosion happens because of that pounding that the beaches are going to take from the high surf and the long duration swell. So those are things to iron out in the next 24 to 36. Here are the latest updates here from the Hurricane Center. Wind 80 mile an hour sustained wind gust to 100. So it's still a very dangerous storm here. Category one movement north and northeast. So it's made that northeast trek. It's expected to go a little bit back northwest and the pressure 965. So obviously that pressure is come up quite a bit from the 940s where it was just a couple days ago. The latest track puts it south of Halifax, south of Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, Saturday morning at 75 mile an hour, just a minimal bare bones hurricane at that point. And then it goes fully extra tropical into the Bay of Fundy up towards Nova, uh, New Brunswick and to the western side of Nova Scotia, Saturday night, 65 mile per hour wind. And it's up through the Labrador current all the way gone here uh, by probably Sunday into Monday. It'll get picked up by the jet stream and it'll be long gone and sheared apart at that point into the North Atlantic. So the computer model tracks here have obviously honed in on a spot and it's the western portion of Nova Scotia up to the Bay of Fundy, the eastern Gulf of Maine here. So a main landfall not expected at this time. It's mostly Atlantic Canada, Nova Scotia or even New Brunswick, depending on what happens with this storm. But I can tell you is that as a category one, it's going to get over the Gulf Stream in about an hour or so, and then it gets into this in the Gulf of Maine. You've got cooler water and especially here off the coast of Yarmouth. You've got a really cool pocket there of water where this thing is going to go extra tropical quickly. It's going to get just zapped of its energy, its fuel to keep it as a hurricane in tropical system, warm core. That's going to be ending very soon, but you still have a big wind field. Look at this wind field for Saturday morning. Watch though as it shrinks once it comes on shore here, or at least doesn't penetrate too much inland as that storm heads up to the northeast up through the Bay of Fundy. So yes, there's a lot of wind, but it's capped at tropical storm force, which means that the power outage risk is not incredibly high. It's certainly Saturday afternoon up here on the southeastern portion there of Nova Scotia around Halifax and Yarmouth, but in Maine, not expecting a lot in the way of widespread outages from this because we're not going to get that hurricane force or even 60 or 65 mile an hour tropical storm force wind. We will get 
are the waves, the high seas. And this is up around 15, 20 feet here, especially mid coast and down east, where they'll get in on that on the western side of the storm. On the eastern side, also Nova Scotia will get in on the waves too. But it will be nothing like Fiona last September at almost the same time. I can promise you that much. That slammed into Prince Edward Island right there and Halifax. So on the tropics tracker, here's the storm. You have obviously the pressure going on. The pressure is going to be expanding, the wind field expanding, but the rain gets picked up and taken up into Atlantic Canada. And most of southern Maine and western Maine misses out on this, and it's gone by Sunday. I mean, completely gone Sunday afternoon. However, the heaviest rain is going to be north and a little bit west of the center of the storm. And if it's right about there into Saturday, then it puts down east. So Eastport, back to Bar Harbor, up to eastern Maine, and we'll see if northern Maine gets clipped or it heads up into New Brunswick. But streams are running high, so we have to watch out for that. Saturday to Saturday night, that's the storm. It's heavy rain, it's high wind, it's the waves, obviously, and those long duration swells pounding the rocky coast of Maine. You want to secure your boats, trim some limbs right now, clear drains. You can do that either tonight or really early Saturday. But once the wind picks up for your safety, best to be indoors at that point because of branches coming down. Potentially, you don't want to get stuck with that generator safety too. keep the generator away from the home. If you lose power, you don't want obviously any of that issue going on where you could certainly have that um, outgassing getting into your home. You don't want that. So you can follow along on the social media on Facebook. Once again, Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Instagram, look me up on TikTok. Continue to have updates. I thank you for following and watching. Another update coming up later on tonight and also tomorrow as we endure what's left of Lee heading up into the North Atlantic.